Hey, it's Patrick, and today on The Lift, I'm gonna show you how to install engine guards on your adventure bike. Now, what are engine guards? Well, basically, they're two metal cages that bolt to the outside of your bike to protect it in case you fall down. Why would you wanna do that? Well, stick around for this episode of On The Lift and find out. Even though these things look really tough on your motorcycle, really, there's only one reason to do this, and that's protection. Especially if you plan on taking your adventure bike off-road at all, this is really a must-have. Even a low-speed tip-over or crash can cause a lot of damage to your motor if it lands on something like a rock, breaks an engine case or an engine cover. That could be a really expensive fix. This is a great way to avoid that. Today, we're using a set of GV engine guards, and we're installing them on a Triumph Tiger 900 Rally. Now, for most bikes, this is going to be a very, very similar installation. So all you're gonna need to get this job done is a set of engine guards. Other than that, basic hand tools are gonna get us where we need to go. You don't need a lift. You could do this on your floor. It does help to have some way to stand the bike up when you're working on the left side. Let's get to work. So we need to start on the left side of the bike. We need to take this bolt out here with a five millimeter Allen, and this will just kind of unclip off of the fairing. So what we need to do is access this front motor mount up here. We're gonna take a T50 Torx and remove that, and we're gonna use different hardware and a bracket to replace this. We need the longer of the two longest bolts, which is the M10 by 120 millimeter bolt. The next thing we need is a 10 millimeter lock washer. And then we need our bracket. Now there's two brackets and they're specific to the left and right side. The one we need for this left side is the longer of the two. You can see the two here, this one's longer. This is the one we need. Put our bolt through our left side bracket, which is the longer of the two. And we need this flat piece facing the rear of the motorcycle. After that, we'll slide on our two spacers. This goes back in where we just took that motor mount out. And I would say thread locker is optional here. We're gonna thread this back in we're gonna end up using a 17 millimeter to snug it up, but don't make it tight yet. We still need to be able to move the bracket. So for the next part, we need to access this lower motor mount. And there's a bolt running all the way through from the right side to the left side. We need to leave the bolt in, but we're gonna take this 14 millimeter nut off. Now, if you have a wobble style extension, you can probably get to this. But if you can't, you can take this foot peg bracket loose, move it out of the way. The other part of this is you're gonna need somebody to hold the other part of the motor mount bolt that goes through with a T50. Unless you're super fast, you can do it yourself. Hold it still. So the next thing we need to do is take our left side engine guard, and we're gonna slip that motor mount that we took the nut off of right through this hole. We're gonna leave this lane kind of loose up there, and then we're gonna put our nut back on, but not tighten it up yet. We're gonna go up here to our top center motor mount. We're gonna use a T50, we're gonna remove that. Before we go any farther with that top motor mount, we're gonna take our M8 by 20 millimeter screw. We're gonna put an eight millimeter lock washer on it eight millimeter washer. And we're gonna thread this through our original front motor mount bracket that we put on, and we're gonna thread it into the engine guard. We're just gonna leave it snugged up. We're not gonna tighten it up all the way yet. We're gonna take our thinner, long spacer. We're gonna set it right in that little pocket in the frame. We're gonna take our M10 by 60, put our 10 millimeter lock washer and our 10 millimeter washer on it. We're gonna slide it through the engine guard and the spacer and thread it into the engine. So if this is a little tight, you may have to put pressure upwards on this crash bar. And in the past, I've actually had to take these and kind of stand on it and spring it out a little bit. Sometimes when they weld it in the jig, it tightens up a little bit. Now we need to come back down to the bottom motor mount, take our 14 millimeter and tighten this up. Again, you're gonna have to have somebody hold that on the other side with a T50. Now 
After we get that tight, we can put our foot peg assembly back on here. So we're gonna take our 17 millimeter socket, go back to our front motor mount. We're gonna tighten that up, then move down to our bracket with a six millimeter Allen and tighten that up. Last thing we need to do on the left side is put our trim piece back on. A Little bit of a tight fit in here. Make sure you get those slots into those tabs. Then we'll take our five millimeter Allen and run our screw back in. All right, now that we're wrapped up on the left side of the bike, we can move over here to the right side of the bike. And this side's gonna start just like the left side did. We're gonna take our five millimeter Allen. We're gonna pull the screw out of the bottom of our trim piece, pop that little piece off so we can get to our front motor mount. We're gonna take a T50 Torx and pull that front motor mount out. Similar to the other side, we need to mount this bracket. And this is the direction it goes like this with this little ear down here and that flat piece facing the back of the motorcycle. We're gonna take our M10 by 90 bolt. We're gonna put a 10 millimeter lock washer on it, a 10 millimeter washer. We take our other big spacer. The other side had two of these, this side only gets one. We're gonna thread this back into the engine mount, but we're not gonna completely tighten it up yet. We still wanna have a little adjustment available to us in this bracket. We're gonna remove this Allen bolt that holds the stock foot peg on. This is an eight millimeter. We're gonna take it out of there. The longer supplied Allen goes back in here. Tighten it up with your eight millimeter. This is threaded. Once it gets in there, it's gonna stick out the back just a little ways. You're gonna take the thicker spacer, put it on there. Then you'll put the engine guard over that. On the back side of the engine guard, we go washer, lock nut. This is a 17 millimeter. You don't wanna tighten it all the way just yet because we need to move that engine guard around. Next thing we have to do is take a T50 and remove our top center motor mount. We're going to attach our bracket to our engine guard with our M8 by 20 millimeter screw. We're gonna put a lock washer and a washer on that. We're just gonna thread it in here. We're not gonna tighten it up just yet. Okay. Take our M10 by 60 millimeter bolt. We're gonna put our 10 millimeter lock washer on it. 10 millimeter washer. We'll slide that through the crash bar, but we need to take our thinner spacer, the last one we have left, put that in the pocket of the frame, slide that in there and tighten this up with a 17 millimeter socket. And we can go ahead and tighten this one down like we're gonna be done with it. Now we can come back to the bottom of our foot peg, come around behind here with a wrench and tighten this 17 millimeter nut up. We're gonna come back to the front, tighten this up with our six millimeter Allen, then we'll go back to the motor mount and tighten that up with a 17 millimeter socket. Now we need to put our trim piece on, then put our Allen screw with the five millimeter Allen back in there. So the final thing we need to do is put our trim pieces on. They give us two nice little caps. These are for that top center motor mount. They just pop right over the top. And these just kind of dress things up, put the GV logo on it. They're held on by Phillips screws. They're in a little bit of a clamshell and they go on the horizontal bar on each side on the crash bar and a Phillips screwdriver, four screws, we'll get them on there for you. Now we have a fresh set of engine guards on a motorcycle. We are ready to hit the trail. If you still have more questions, feel free to hit that info tab on your desktop or mobile device. That's gonna take you to the product detail page where you can read other riders reviews and more specifications on these GV engine guards. Still have more questions? You can reach out to our customer service team. They would love to talk to you about what works best for your motorcycle, your budget, and your riding style. I'm Patrick, thank you for watching. Go work on those motorcycles.